Hello everyone. Welcome back. If you feel like I am going too fast or doing things that are a bit unclear, please feel free to ask in the comment section. So we begin by adding an image reference, by going to add, then image reference. Select the image, then reduce the opacity. I did not find a turnaround image reference of Lincoln, so I had to use Linka, who is a girl version of Lincoln from another world. Go to draw mode, then hold left mouse button to select the circle tool. Drag the points to stretch the circle, then go to sculpt mode and press G to grab the points. Create another layer for the eyes. Switch to Edit Mode, then press Shift-D to duplicate the circles. Create another layer for the mouth, then use the Line tool to draw the mouth. Also create another layer for the pupils. This is not compulsory, but we do it to stay organized in case you want to add layer masks or modifiers. In order to apply color drag on the corner, then select Image Editor, select Open, then select your image reference. Use the color picker in the Materials tab to select the colors from your reference. Use the Bucket tool to paint enclosed areas. Go to Data Properties tab. In Stroke Depth, then choose 3D Location to make the strokes appear in front of the fill color. Move on to the second keyframe, then in the Head layer, begin drawing the three-quarter head. the eyes in the eye layer, and the mouth and hair in their separate layers as we did before. Apply the materials, then move on to the third keyframe. Here we draw the side profile view head. For the body switch back to object mode, then go to add drop down menu and select grease pencil stroke. Go to edit mode and delete then. In draw mode on the first keyframe, begin drawing the front view of the body. Move to the second keyframe to draw the three-quarter view of the body. Move to the third keyframe to draw the side profile view of the body.
add another grease pencil stroke for the arms. Create another layer for the hands. another grease pencil stroke for the legs. Put the shoe on its own layer. In edit mode, move the head and the body drawings of the second and third keyframes to the positions of the first drawing. On the timeline, select the keyframes, then press Shift-D to duplicate. Select the first three keyframes, then in edit mode, turn on multi-frame. Press A to select all, then press S, then X-1 to flip on the X axis. Do the same for the body. Move the last three keyframes so that we can have one midpoint. Scroll to see if there is a turnaround. The next part is about rigging, so don't miss out.